Welcome. So what I have here is I have uh, three angles, and you can see that these three angles, um, when formed together, make up a line. Right? So that's very, very simple. So when they make up a line, that means their measure um, is going to be added up to 180 degrees. They're all going to be um, supplementary as I add them together. So we know that the measure of angle 3 is 47. And then it says measure of angle 1 and measure of angle 2 are complementary. Well, remember, complementary means that two angles um, add up to 90 degrees. So what I can say is the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 3 is equal to 90 degrees. That's complementary, right? Well, we already know measure of angle 3 is 47. So I can say measure of angle 1 plus 47 degrees equals 90 degrees. Subtract 47 degrees. Measure of angle 1 is going to equal 43 degrees. So now I know this is 43 degrees and this is 47 degrees. And again, remember that all these angles are going to add up to make a line, so therefore they're going to add up to be 180. So I can say the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3 equals 180 degrees. Well, I know measure of angle 1, which is 43 degrees, plus the measure of angle 2, which I do not know, plus the measure of angle 3, which is four, oh, sorry, measure of angle 3, which is 47. All right, and I know some of this might be a little obvious to some of you um, because you're looking at this and saying, all right, well, I don't need to write all those equations. But it's very helpful if, you're gonna, if you end up making a mistake, you can quickly find it by showing all of your work. Well, these two add up to 90, right? So it's measure of angle 2 plus 90 because it says they're complementary. Plus 90 equals 180 degrees. So you really didn't need to solve for measure of angle 1 and measure of angle 3, but I think it's just helpful as far as how I'm explaining it. Then subtract 90 degrees. So therefore, the measure of angle 2 is equal to 90 degrees. And we can give it one of those symbols. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you find your missing, um, missing angle measures uh, when given missing angles. Thanks.